This morning's show is brought to you by the Bronco Bleacher Creature, which would like to remind this year's fresh to sign up and get involved with Cherry Honor of Athletics. Don't forget to sign up and register online today. Good morning, Broncos. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Broncos. I'm your host, Roman Hill. And I'm your host, Tess McCree. And now let's get into this morning's headlines. Wask is still coming, and we won't stop talking about it until it is here. Do you know that every time the Wask Committee has visited our campus, we have gotten the max accreditation of six years? Whoa, we rock! Your teachers and ministers have been working for over a year and a half to write our WASP report, which highlights all the wonderful things we do here at VISTA. The report is 140 pages 140 long. 140 pages? I know. <laughs> and represents tons of hard work by every Bronco staff member. Attention, English language learners or ELL students who are in the 10th grade or 11th grade and planning on attending college after graduation. On March 11th, the district is providing free transportation to Cal State Fullerton and Whittier College. Lunch will also be included for free. For free! Please see Mrs. Gempler in EE11 for more details. If you are currently taking an AP class or plan on taking the AP exam in May 2019, you must register for your exam on total registration. Exam registration is open and will close on March 20th. If you have any questions regarding the exams, please speak to your AP teacher or AP coordinators, Mrs. Ruiz or Ms. Cadell. And now, let's see what announcements we have for this morning, seniors! There are now less than 30 seats for grad night, so don't miss out on this event. Tickets may be purchased for $180. Please remember that if you already have purchased your ticket, you must turn in your permission slip and to the bookkeepers now. Students who have not turned in their permission slip could lose their spots. All permission slips for buses one through 10 must be turned in immediately. Tickets can be purchased through the school's online trading post or with Miss Lindemeyer only. And now let's see what announcements we have for the freshmen. Attention, class of 2022. This is a reminder to make sure you sign up for courses online starting March 5th, 6th, and 7th. The online window is open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Students must have access to their student ABI accounts to register for their courses. Counselors will meet with their students to review their course selection March 12th to the 15th in their biology slash life science class. It is important that students register for the courses online. We are here to spread the word to end the use of the R word. The R word is retarded. Lots of people use it offensively towards people with special needs. Even more, people use it to describe others and don't really know how offensive it is. For example, if you're working on a basic math problem like one plus one and your friend might call you retarded, it's actually really offensive. The word retarded used to be medical diagnosis for people with intellectual disabilities and the dictionary is defined as less advanced in mental, physical, or social development than is usual for one's age. Over time, people started using it offensively towards people with disabilities, and then doctors stopped using it. Retarded has become a word we hear from our people at school, shows on TV, movies, and celebrities on social media. Please stop yourself and others from using the R word. National R Word Awareness Day is Wednesday, March 6th. We will be out during both lunches in the quad area with a banner to sign your name and pledge to help spread the word to end the word. We will have bracelets and stickers at the table for you to take. Also, we will have games in the grass area of the quad, so join us. In closing, we will leave you with this quote. That's so crazy, stupid, asinine, silly, idiotic, ridiculous, irrational, foolish, ludicrous, 
senseless, absurd, annoying, pointless, flighty, ditzy, goofy, dull, and you choose retarded? Use a dictionary. Spread the word to end the word. To end, end the word. Spread the word to end the word. Spread the word to end the word. Wait, I said, what? Spread the word to end the word. 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 Spread the word! Spread And now let's see what Naya has for this morning's BBC update. Broncos. Last week, baseball won their game 15-3 against Mesa. Caden Castellanos pitched a great game with five strikeouts. Charlie Fallen went 3-3, for three. Anthony Tulamero and Damian Campbell both went 2-3, for three. Caden Castellanos went 3-4, for four, and Mikey Romero went 2-4. for four. Last Saturday was the Saddle Up Invitational for track and field. The following names won their events. Hunter Escorcia, 110 hurdles, Gabby Hubarth, 3,200 3, meters, Peyton Kendall, the 800, Willie Coleman, the 800, Kishan Mater, High Jump, and Omar Boston, the 200. Great job, everyone. Also over the weekend, men's lacrosse won their game 14-0 with Garrett Ennis, Kyle Patain, and Jacob Liu as the leading scorers. And yesterday, men's tennis won their match 15-3. Great job to all these spring sports. Tomorrow, boys volleyball has an away game at La Jolla, so don't forget to wish them good luck. That's it for today, Broncos. Have a great day. Now, let's see what announcements we have for you in this morning's Club Corner. Hi, I'm KK. Hi, I'm Alexis. I'm Makai. And I'm Chavon. And we're here to talk about Dancing with the Broncos. It's March 8th in the PAC, so make sure you come out and support all the brilliant dancers. Tickets go on sale soon. $7 pre-sale and $10 at the door. They will sell out. All proceeds go to I Dance for a Cure. What's up, Broncos? My name is Justin Lai. I'm here with Help the Homeless and the Animal Shelter. This is a donation opportunity to help out our community. So the items that are in need are brand new pairs of socks for the homeless, um, blankets, and towels for the animal shelter and the, the drop-off location will be in West Hall, East Hall and security office and there's a competition against MV, Mesa, that's yeah and uh yeah let's do it with class the Bronco way. Good morning Broncos my name is RJ Cardenas vice president of the class of 2020 Charlie flight commander and president of the Bronco project. I'm here today with the members of the Bronco Project to announce that after almost two years since its conception, the Bronco Project has raised the funds to install the Bronco statue. Thanks to the kind donations from you, our supporters, all of this has been made possible. We would like to thank those of you who bought legacy bricks, they are on their way. We would also like to thank the class of 2020 for their indispensable support. We also have a very special thank you to our advisor, Ms. Kaylee Olson, for all the hours she has dedicated to managing this project. Thank you, Mrs. Olson. Again, we are excited to see the statue installed and how excited you all are to see it as well. This statue commemorates the power of the Bronco spirit, that with the right dedication, together we can achieve great things. This statue is for all of you. As seen through the rearing Bronco, we hope you are all inspired to reach for the sky. Thanks again, Broncos, and have a wonderful day. Hey guys, I'm Blake. And I'm Kelsey. And we're from the senior class. So over the next couple weeks, for, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, during both lunches, we're going to be selling our senior gear. The baseball tees are going to be $7, and the t-shirts are going to be 5 So we hope to see you guys out there during both lunches. Thank you. In this morning's teacher talk.
staff meeting this afternoon in the NPR. It's our last meeting before WASC visits next week. Please show up promptly before 2.40 p.m. Thought of the day. Unity is strength, where there is teamwork and collaboration and wonderful things that can be achieved. As long as you're united in vision and communicated understanding, no one can stop those united in a cause. And now, here's Mr. Wager with this morning's words of wisdom. Hey, good morning, Broncos. Unity is our theme this week, and one way we can all work together uh, is to show, is to do our best to show that our school is the best. And the CASP test is coming for our juniors, and I want the best scores in the district. Don't you want the best scores in the district to show how great a school we are? And the only way we can do that is for you to do your best when it comes time to test. So juniors, it's been three years since you took the CASP. Anything you've learned from eighth grade to now could be part of this test. It's so important that you take the test seriously and show us what you have learned. Everybody else, everybody else, let's support our junior class as they get ready for the test. They are representing us, so we want to give them good vibes and hearty slaps on the back and tell them to go rock this test, juniors. And let's do it with class. In unity, the Bronco way. That and is that's all we have for you today. <laughs> I'm your host, Roman Hill. And I'm your host, Tess McCreary. Make sure to follow all our Instagrams and Snapchats. And do subscribe. <laughs> Stay classy, Stay classy Broncos. Broncos. <laughs>